Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about our E40 ECM and the speed density operation. So speed density is gonna be when we take a look at the map sensor and ignore the mass airflow sensor. So in the previous video, we took a look at that process of working with the map sensor. Now we're switching over to the map sensor and it's gonna be called speed density or the volumetric efficiency calculations in the tables. We're gonna find that the E40 PCM is gonna be a little bit more similar to the Gen 3 family than it is to the E38 E67 PCMs. That's why we have to have a separate video here and doing our speed density tuning for the E40 specifically. So I'm gonna be walking you through all the details that you need to know for this E40 PCM, as well as showing you how to enhance the operating system to a two bar operating system. We can take it off of the normal volumetric efficiency calculation. That's gonna be a whole bunch of details. Again, we need to know. Let's jump into the video so we can check all this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our speed density tuning in our GM Gen 4 applications. So the first operating system we're gonna take a look at here is gonna be our E40. That's gonna be from the earlier generation of the Gen 4, specifically in this case, a 2005 Pontiac GTO. So let's jump in here to our engine. We're gonna move from general into idle into airflow. And then under general tab, we're gonna find that we have our main VE. That's gonna be for our volumetric efficiency table. If we click on this table, we're gonna find that it's gonna be based on engine RPM and it's gonna be based on manifold pressure. If we look at the values in the table here, these are gonna be representing the volumetric efficiency of our engine. So we're looking at the, uh, the, the numerical view of the table. If we click here, we can actually look at the uh, plotting of the table here. And we're able to uh, kind of take a look in this three-dimensional format and get a better idea of how the table's shaped and what's going on. So this is going to be the stock equivalent VE table that is in or E40 PCM right from GM. So we're gonna be finding this is what they've calibrated. And we can see the table is fairly smooth if we look at it. Now if we jump back into the table here, um, let's go back into our numerical view of the table, we're gonna find we have a lot of data points here. Compared to our mass airflow curve, we're gonna find that we have much less data points to hit. So we'll have more resolution and more tuning capability in our speed density or the volumetric efficiency table here. So this is gonna be something we may want to go and use for tuning. Now, in 